guys, Captain Taylor here with SaltyScales.com. This evening I want to do a video showing you how to spool a bait caster. I just got this brand new Daiwa reel in the mail. Uh, I'm actually going to try it out, see how it is, maybe write up a review here later on. Uh, picked up some Vantage Berkeley 10-pound uh, test line that I'll be spooling it with. So come along and I'll show you how to do it. Hey guys, so what I have here uh, is just a single man setup in case you don't have a partner to hold the spool. You can use a, a simple solution, just a cardboard box and a, um, a screwdriver. Uh, what I have here is a screwdriver going from one corner to the other corner and it's holding the spool in place. So I have the tape here that prevents the line from unraveling. Um, so I just wanted to show you that. It's a very uh, easy way to, to get your spool to stay you know, where you need it while you get the job done. So let's go ahead and get this thing spooled up. Alright guys, so what I'm doing here, the first things first, is I take this little sticker that comes onto the spool and I just tear it in half. Like so. Okay. I use one piece of it to uh, one piece to hold my line in place on the spool. I use that to you know, put it back where it goes. And then this I use to actually put the line onto the spool. So what you want to do is you want to take your line and put it through the first guide of the rod. Alright, so now you have your bait caster here. So you obviously want to take your line and you want to put it through the level uh, line. Like so. All right, now your little piece of tape that you pulled off earlier, you just want to stick that right onto the spool. Should have something that looks like that. All right, then you want to slowly make a couple wraps till this starts to evenly spool onto the reel. Now, one thing that people do or have a tendency to do is they have a tendency to hold this line real tight to either the left or the right side, thinking that just because it's a level line that it'll spool up uh, evenly. But if you do that, you'll find, you'll quickly find that that's not the case. So you do want to hold tension, but you also want to go back and forth. So you don't want to prevent it from, from going one way or another. So now I'm just putting the line on, making sure that it's evenly spooled. So you want to put as much line as you feel comfortable uh, with, guys. Obviously, you don't want to overspool it because if you do, then um, you know you're going to see a lot more birds' nests and things like that, and it's just not going to feel right. So you know, don't fill it up to the very max. I mean, there's a little lip indicator on most of these spools that'll tell you when to stop. Uh, so, but that's all there really is to it, guys. I mean, it's not rocket science. You can use a box, you can use a friend, uh, just make sure that you spool it on nice and tight. Get a good uh, quality line that has, you know, lo you know, a low memory, um, something that, that's been proven. As long as you spend the money on the line, you'll, you'll definitely um, be happy that you did. But other than that, this is the Daiwa Tatula. Um, I'm going to put it to the test, see how it works, you know. Maybe in a month or two, I'll write a review or do a video review on it, let you guys uh, know how it is. So if you have any questions, go on to the YouTube page, comment, go to saltyscales.com. Guys, if you like the video tutorials, please rate uh, the video and subscribe. We appreciate it. Have a great day.